The Holiday Dating Guide is a 2022 Christmas film directed by Brian Herslinger, written by Brent Bailey, and this stars Maria Menounos as Abigail, and I apologise if I've mispronounced any of the names there. This is an okay film. I didn't love it, and I don't think Abigail is the most likeable protagonist. There's nothing wrong with her as such, I just never really cared for her very much. So it is an okay film. If you're looking for a Christmas or holiday-themed film that you haven't seen, then I'd say it's worth watching at least once, so I won't give any spoilers, as I do recommend it. Abigail is an author, and her publisher doesn't want to publish her latest book, which is a holiday dating guide, because he's been married 40-something years, and he doesn't think that her tips in the book are very helpful. Because, of course, they are for dating in today's age. And he tells her if you can get a date using your tips by Christmas Eve, then maybe he'll publish it. He he needs to see evidence that these tips do actually work. And that is the premise. Abigail has 12 days to find somebody and basically make them fall in love with her by Christmas Eve, which sounds ludicrous, but it works well enough. I feel like it worked more quickly than I would have liked. And I think we could have had a few more failed attempts before we started to get anywhere. I think we could have had some fun with that. But once it got going and I realized this is where the narrative was going, then I was allowing myself to enjoy the experience of Abigail interacting with somebody and working out whether they'll still be together by the end of the 12 days. And they do various activities such as making tacos and things to keep things quite fresh and interesting. There's a nice enough amount of Christmas in this, so if you're looking for a Christmassy film, then it definitely ticks that box, but it's not overabundant. While I do love sickly sweet Christmas films, I know not everybody does, so there is a nice amount of Christmas in this, but it's not over the top, and I know that that will definitely appeal to some people. Abigail is a fine protagonist, I just didn't find her to be that likeable, I just didn't connect with her at all at any point. But as I said, she's not unlikable. There's nothing about her that's bad and the performance is absolutely fine. I just didn't find her to be the most interesting or the most fascinating protagonist. But there are no problems with her. Brent Bailey as Michael, I did like, but again, not a character that I thought was that fascinating. Wasn't really bothered about the character. So for me, it was definitely more about the narrative than the characters, and I don't mind that because the narrative wasn't too bad at all. Do I recommend it? Sure. Will I watch it again? No, I doubt it. But as a one-time watch, I thought the holiday dating guide was not too bad. The narrative worked well. The pacing wasn't what I would have wanted. As I said, I would have wanted some more failed attempts first. I think things moved too quickly, but nevertheless... Once we got to a certain point, things the pacing was not too bad after that. So if you're looking for a Christmas film or a holiday film that you haven't seen, then I'd say The Holiday Dating Guide is not a bad one to go with. It's generally quite an easy watch with a nice amount of Christmas as well. So all things considered, I'm relatively happy.